Hello, so today we're going to start this Matisse collage. It's based on Henry Matisse's paint, uh, picture, Beasts of the Sea. And we're going to use cut paper to create um, the piece. And um, in Matisse's Beasts of the Sea, he had two vertical pieces. And we're just going to do one vertical piece. And we're going to be using organic or freeform shapes. And then we'll be using some geometric shapes as well to mix in. And we start with our geometric shapes. So the first thing you're going to do is get a black piece of paper and with a white crayon you need to write your name and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C. We're going to flip it over and we're going to start with secondary colors. We're going to be using the secondary colors, orange, green, and violet. And I want you to pick one secondary color to save for your freeform shapes and you're going to use the other two secondary colors for your geometric. So if we go back to my original, what color did I use for my freeform shapes in this collage? Orange. Orange is the color that I saved for my freeform shapes. And then I used violet and green for my geometric shapes. But you don't have to use orange, you can pick a different color. So this is what it looks like when you use orange on top for your freeform. And then you use white for your spirals. And this is what it looks like if you use purple on top as your freeform and gray. So you can see, if you compare the two, what stands out most, what color, when you look at these examples, these two examples side by side, what color stands out the most? What color do you see first, second grade? You see orange first, absolutely. Orange really does grab your eye, and white is a close second. Um, so orange really stands out. So if you want the shapes that you're going to cut out of orange to really stand out and grab your attention, then you need to decide. Do you want it to be the geometric shapes that stand out and grab your attention or do you want it to be the organic shapes? And then white. Do you want white to be the little pieces that you add intermittent or do you want it to be the spirals that stand out? Do you cut out a really nice spiral and then that's what you're going to add? Um, and you're going to do that in white so it stands out, or are you going to do a different shape? So for this example, I'm going to pick purple as the color that I'm going to use for my freeform shapes. So these shapes here, or these colors here, orange and green, these are the ones that we're going to use for our geometric shapes. And so when you start, you can simply just use one or two of the squares as is, because a square is a geometric shape, and you can glue it flat and line it up nice and neat and straight. You can glue it a little crooked, whatever you want. Then some other geometric shapes that you uh, can use today are rectangles and triangles. And since this is a square, we need to cut it either in half or a little less than half. I'm gonna cut it in half to create a rectangle. And remember, rectangles have long, two long sides and two short sides. Squares have four equal sides. And then I'll also have some triangle patterns for you to trace around um, if you want to do some triangles. So you can trace around the triangle and cut it out. Or another thing you could do is you could cut on the diagonal of the square to get a triangle. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So you can use the triangle pattern, cut it out, and glue that down. Or if you want to create triangle without tracing. All you have to do is take your square paper, turn it on a point, so the point's at the bottom, and cut straight up from the bottom point up to the top point, and there you have two triangles. And you can use create your triangles that way. So you're going to alternate the two colors that you're using in the background. And then the shapes are going to overlap and touch. But I don't want them to hang off either side of the black paper. And so now, from your purple paper, I want you to cut a rectangle. And these are two skinny rectangles. Um, you could cut a slightly fatter one if you'd rather do that. So you cut just a little bit of the square off. And this will just be scrap, but you'd use the bigger square. And then within the rectangle, I want you to draw a freeform shape. And your freeform shape can be more wobbly, almost like a paint splatter or a puddle of water or it can have sharp, jagged points to it. Um, but I don't want it to touch the edge of the rectangle. So if I lift this up, can you see a little bit better? Um, so there's a cl clean edge all the way around that this shape doesn't come to the edge of the paper. And then you're gonna cut straight in 
and follow your pencil lines very carefully and keep it all in one piece. You want to keep your scrap, this negative space around the shape, you want to keep that all in one piece and then you want to keep your organic freeform shape all in one piece as well. So there's the two pieces. Um, you're going to, in Beasts of the Sea, Henry Matisse used his negative, his scrap paper in his work, so we're going to use our scrap paper as well. And you're going to overlap your geometric shapes with your freeform shapes. So I'm going to cut this one out. If you cut too close to the edge of the rectangle, you might cut it, the negative or scrap, in pieces and you try you want to try to keep it all in one piece. I like to put glue on the same side as the pencil lines so that people don't have to view that. And I just kind of bumped that and laid that there but that's good. Um, you also are going to get some white paper and some gray paper to also add some contrast so you won't just be using secondary colors. So I want you to pick one paper either white or gray that you're going to set aside and add some little pieces later. So what I mean by that is when you look at this example, see my little gray pieces? I use gray to set aside and then I use the white for the spiral. So what I want you to do is decide are you going to use gray for the pieces or are you going to use white? And since I used uh, gray for the pieces on the other, I'm going to use gray for my spiral. And you can do your spiral one of two ways. You can draw your spiral first. So start in the middle and go around and around and around. And then you can cut on that spiral. Or you can just cut on the spiral, cut a spiral out without drawing it first. But I don't want you to waste a lot of paper. So if you're struggling with this and you cut one wrong without drawing it first, I want you to draw it next time, the next time you try. All right, so I've met the middle, but I can't just take my scissor out and then glue this down because it's not two pieces. It's still all one piece. And when I glue it down, it'll just basically be a rectangle. So what I want to do once I meet, find the center of the square, then I'm going to turn and go back the way I came, cutting and making two pieces as I cut. So I have this piece and that piece that I'm making, two pieces as I cut around. And this is going to be tricky for you second grade, but I know that you can figure it out. You're smart. So you can practice a couple of times maybe on some scrap paper and then get the good construction paper so that when you cut it out, you get two pieces. You get the spiral shape and then you get the scrap. And I'm going to use the scrap of the spiral, flip it over, glue that down. And that leaves this negative space, this scrap left over, and that should be plenty. So one paper for your spiral, and one paper for your organic. When you cut it in half, you get two rectangles, and that should be enough, unless you're going to do a fatter rectangle, and then um, you might need two of these papers. So the very last thing I want you to do with your collage, after you get all your pieces glued on, is I want you to add some little pieces, some little scraps. So go back to the first one. I used rectangles. You could use little triangles, little circles, um, diamonds or squares, but just a smaller shape that you're just going to kind of add and sprinkle around your paper. So I think for this one I'm going to cut a strip and then I'm going to cut some triangles out. So basically I'm going to just be cutting some diagonal lines, almost like a zigzag. And just get some small triangles that I'm going to add at the very end. You don't want to cut them too small because then they'll just give you frustrations and get glue and scrap everywhere. So I just put some dots down, hopefully have enough triangles to cover up those dots of glue. And they can overlap and touch things, touch the shapes. Um, they can just simply fit on the black paper by themselves without touching anything. Um, but this is just going to add that final little detail to make your piece look even that much better. And so there is your Matisse Beasts of the Sea collage using secondary colors and then with an addition of white and gray. So there are your Beasts of the Sea collage. Good job, second grade.